What's up to all my freelancers, designers, and creatives? This is Nathan, and here we are with another tutorial with Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so for this tutorial, actually, you look over here, I was doing an interview, and on the interview, I forgot to turn on the feature that was a split screen. So this is the regular footage here on the left-hand side, and as you can see, as the interview went on, it would just go back and forth between me and the person I was interviewing whenever we were talking. But I wanted to create this over here to the right, which is just a split screen of both of us on the screen at the exact same time. So you can do this in Premiere Pro, but just to understand what we're doing, let's go over to Photoshop. So in Photoshop, I made a you know new project. It is literally just a canvas size of 920 by 1080, which is literally the width of HD video or film. So that's what that is. And I have two images here, one with me and one with the person I'm interviewing. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna place myself on the left-hand side. And I wanna place the person I'm interviewing on the right-hand side and just be done with that. But as you can see, I can't just do that with the footage or with the picture that's here. So in Photoshop, we can do something called a mask, right? A mask. And just to illustrate this, I'm going to use the rectangular tool because we just want to split this in half and it's just a good point at illustrating this. So let me just draw a rectangle here that takes up half the screen. And I'll leave that as, you know, red. And I'll draw another rectangle here that takes up the other half of the screen. And that will be... Let's make that a different color just so we can illustrate it. Let's make that green. Okay, so me on the left, the person on the right. So at least in Photoshop, I can do something called a clipping mask, right? So I will do this for this later. I'll right click the layer and go to create clipping mask. So now the image, I can even move it around, but it's only going to show this height and width of the image because it's clipped into the square, right? So there, I have that image there and I'll make another clipping mask for uh, my side of the screen, right? And now I can go over here and only that part shows up. And if I were to hide this layer, right? You see that it's that and it's not extending past that. It's only showing the part that's in the rectangle, right? So this is what I wanna accomplish and that's how you can do it in Photoshop. But we wanna do this in Adobe Premiere. So that being said, I'm actually going to make a new sequence. I'll go ahead and leave it. I'll call it split, split screen. I'll leave it at 1080 because that's perfectly fine. And I actually will pull in the two full screen individual images that we have here. Uh, let's see, I'll keep existing settings. All right, and I'll make this a little larger so it fills the screen. Okay, so that's me. And then we have to bring in the other layer for the other person I was interviewing during this. And we have to do something similar. So let me lock this, select this layer and make it the proper size. Okay, we're running into the same issue. I can move this person over here, but how do I, in a sense, mask it here in Adobe Premiere Pro? So in order to mask this, let's go over to Effect Controls. And let's click on under opacity, let's click on this rectangle. Now, please note that you need to have the video you want to apply the mask to selected. So just so I can do that, I locked the first video layer and now I have this one selected here. Also, you'll notice if I scroll over this rectangle, it says create a four point polygon mask. So it knows I'm masking the video. I could also do an ellipse or a circle. And I could also free draw. Maybe I could just click around and cut this out and mask it that way. Either way, but in this case, I think a solid square or rectangle would work. Now I clicked on it and it automatically applied the mask to that layer, but that's not what I really want. So I can definitely click the edges of this and drag this how I want it to be, right? And all I have to do is create this rectangle shape of what I want. But again, see how much of the screen it's taking up. I can adjust this if need be, because I only want about half of the screen 
to be shown, right? So that's pretty good. And again, I could click away just to apply that mask. Again, I could double click this layer and adjust what I want with this, right? So what I like to do just to, you know, be clear on the whole mask and how it's being applied is I draw the mask over the area I want to be shown for sure, no matter what the uh, length and width is of this mask over the entire video. So I just draw it over the sections I want to be shown. And I will do that, do that. Maybe show a little bit more on this side. Probably a little bit more. Something like this, maybe. Something like this. And I'll just click away just to apply that mask. And now I could drag it over. And that's kind of pretty much what I want. So now I will hide this because we want to do the other video layer, which is myself. So again, I'll double click and select the video, click on this four point polygon mask, it applies it. And again, I need to draw what I want to be shown, right? So I'll manually just move these edges to where I want them to be. And put this up towards the top, pretty much creating a square. That's my goal, square rectangle. And maybe a little more on this side of is what I want to show. And this is not all the way vertical. Neither is this side. And yeah, you can adjust as need be, but I'll just stop right there. Okay. So now I can also drag this to where I want it to be. And I will unhide the original layer that we had. Something like this, right? And of course, I could do some fine tuning to say, no, I want you over to the right more. And if I were to play this, and let me mute it, but if I were to play this, right? So now, right, it has both sides of the video going and you can see both people talking and doing whatever it is they need to do. Right. So that's the thought and that's the logic of what we were doing with this tutorial. Again, what we did was if we had a video clip, of course, you can click on it, go to effect controls under opacity, hit this and you can mask the image and create a split screen effect. If you have any questions, once again, leave me a comment below. I feel free to get back to you whenever I can. But yeah, so if you ever make a mistake in recording someone and you have your individual film with their individual film, but you want to make it look like it's a split screen, this is how you go about doing so in Premiere Pro.